Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today I am super excited to share with you a brand new tangle, Dolly Light, from my friend CZT Alyssa Hergit. Oh, we had so much fun with this today um, on our Tangle Time sessions. And actually, the end of December, we, we did like a soft premiere of it uh, in our my winter snowflakes class and um, it's just a neat tangle there is more to this that we will we will premiere the full tangle later but Alyssa when we were uh, chatting about it because I mentioned that it looks like a snowflake when you stop at set at step uh, six and uh, so she went with it and created dolly light and uh, we used it for our snowflake class I'll show you samples of that uh, at the end uh, super neat uh, all right so I'm going to, I'm going to do this as we have it listed uh, as, um, as the step out show there, we, we figured out that there was, there's a, an additional way that you can do this. And I'll, I'll share that as we go. Um, so it starts off with seed shapes and a seed shape is, I was like, let me find where I want the center to be. <laughs> That's always a challenge. A seed shape, curve line, one direction. Curve line going the other direction, you know, meeting at both ends. So it looks like a seed, right? So we're going to put six in here. Know that if you decide to do more or do less, completely up to you. It all works out fine. But we're going to follow the, the step out just so you can see. And what I like to do for this is I start it. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh. They're almost the same size. Wow. That, that rarely happens. Um, so I kind of like to do, you know, north, south first and then uh, because we're not doing because we're doing six it's a it makes a little bit of a challenge so I have to have one coming off this angle and one this way and it ends up working out pretty good so then when I put the next one in I'm going to trace over a little bit of this because I'm tucking it in but just doing the curve line again one way the other way um, as there is no such thing as a mistake in Zentangle don't worry about like, you know, mine end up to being different shapes, <laughs> different sizes primarily. There we go. You know, and if there's, yeah, you know, like I said, it doesn't matter. So we're going to get the five there. Okay. Then, and now here's where I, I changed up Alyssa's step out. Uh, on Alyssa, she has putting a, a, you know, a curve line which you can do it either way. And that's why I like to always share lots of different, you know, ways to do it, especially when we come up with, with different things. Um, but she is putting, uh, well, actually I'll just do one, you know, a curve line like this, but going all the way around. The step after that is to put lines, spokes, we could call them, coming up from either side. Now see, here's my, my challenge is like, I needed to have, something to attach it to that's just how I work and so I just changed it up in that way for me so um, I'm going to continue that because it's easier <laughs> all right and make these spokes longer than your seed shapes like that and now I will continue well let's see well this one I can for sure so this side this side, uh, I don't know. We'll, uh, there we go. We'll find something else to do with that there. But then, yeah, just a curve line. So from the ends of the spokes, curving down and touching the tip of that seed and coming back. we go and we don't worry about anything being symmetrical or anything it's all good oh and I have an idea of how I will incorporate that little bit there okay then on the ends of the spokes we put uh, little diamonds so I just put I, I kind of like to do them in separating the steps so curve line one direction curve line the other direction and then two you know 
curved-ish lines. You can make them straight if you want. That's up to you. You can make them whatever size you want. Um, sometimes I get courageous and do like that, where I do it kind of in two strokes. There we go. And that is essentially it, except that then it's playtime. So, um, and as I mentioned, so you can, um, you can decorate this however you want. Or just, or just have fun, you know, sh maybe shading it as it is. You can also add extra elements. So, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, let's see. And because I have this kind of coming out, and I did this on the last one, I'm going to make... A spiral we're gonna just incorporate that oh like that oh isn't that cute and then you know the trick is you find something that maybe corrects something that went awry and then you just continue to do it and nobody's the wiser we don't we don't tell our secrets just just in our little our little circle we, that we're the only ones that know Like I said, you, it's up to you however you want to decorate it. We saw some really amazing, um, amazing work that we had in, in our Tangle Time. Just amazing. And if you want to see that work, uh, I will be getting that out. And I'm going to aura these because that's, you know, I, I kind of like that in the decoration part. Um, hang on. All of this, this is all up to you however you want to decorate. But if you want to see it, go to my website. Um, link is in the description section. And sign up for my blog. And uh, when I get the recap done, you will see it there. Other way is if you, um, well, you, you get the recap. So I, I send the links to the recap videos, link to this video, links to the step outs, um, and, so, um, and then screenshots as well as pictures that are either sent to me or I, you know, swipe them off of our Facebook group, um, you know, so that way you can see close up uh, better and better pictures than just the screenshot. And it's just so neat. What else do I want to do with this? I liked that I, let's see, I'm going to aura, I'm in an auraing mood, apparently. I'm going to aura the insides of these. kind of neat make some make some look hollow and you know I could always fill in that section I could fill in the, the 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 outer ring just depends on what I feel like and I don't know what I feel like um well let's see <laughs> like what and what what do I feel like what do I feel like for the rest hmm you know, I'm debating on just leaving that empty, but I also, I want to add another, um, oh no, let's do this, because I haven't done this yet. I feel like adding orbs. <laughs> and why not? You know, what's fun with this type of tangle, whoa, that's ginormous. And there, I mean, there are other tangles as well that give you a lot of room. It, you know, like this has turned into a reticula. And you can, like I said, you can put other tangles inside of these sections if you want. But it just really gets the creative juices flowing. And it's just, I don't know, it's like a rush, sort of. And, you know, where you just think, oh, well, what should I do next? What should I do here? What should I do there? And it's just, it's fun to have fun. And I'm going on some of the ideas that I saw. And like I said, and I'm just, yeah, just having fun. All right. Now, if I was going to shade, hmm, 
Well, shading is going to depend on what you end up doing. Um, but you know, here's what I'm, let's go where things converge. I usually say that because that is what makes sense. And I just want to kind of go, oh, that's interesting. And let's do here too, where these converge. Uh, I'm apparently being lazy. So yeah, why why turn the paper when you can just uh, <laughs> turn, flip the tortillon in your hand? The, the trick is having the point where the graphite is and where you don't want to go over, um, you know, over the line versus you know. Well, that's yeah. I would I would. That's why I did it this way, not like this way. So anyway, it just depends. Oh, see, that looks kind of neat. I need to have something on these orbs. And I'm just using what's left on my tortillon. It adds a little dimension. Actually, if I had only left it with uh, two, it kind of looks like a snowman. <laughs> oh, and let's add just because it, I'm feeling like it needs some. Let's just do something in the middle of these print hump. Yeah. Just light. Well, and then because I did that, let's see. silly but I've already done it so I'm sticking to it oh actually you know I'm just gonna fill in that with the graphite because it's so small it adds a little something there we go so super neat and like I said you, you can turn this into so many things it just depends because everybody kind of has a take on um, you know, on, on how they do their seeds, just even naturally. How you do, how far the spokes go out. Uh, maybe do you have that touching? Do you not? What tangles do you have? Again, just a lot of, a lot of fun. And it doesn't have to look like a snowflake. It can look like a flower. It, it just depends on what you end up doing with it. All right. So, um, I mentioned that we premiered this on our Tangle Time session. So here's, uh, sample number one. Oh, let me back this camera up go. Um, this was one that I, so that's, you know, similar, similar to this, just because it was fun. Um, using, uh, you know, a Zen bossing shading technique. Oh, just a lot of fun. And then this, well, you can sort of see, um, the colors on this camera don't always show up. So, oh yeah. When I move it like, oh there, so you can see when I turn it. Um, I used silver, on a, this is on a black Zendala, uh, sil silver and blue metallic pens, and um, it's supposed to be blue, let me see, oh, no, it really, it only works if I turn it this way, okay, um, but the orid sections are all blue, so the original outside pattern is um, silver, and what I decided to do on this one was I, I felt like I wanted to do straight lines into the tips of those uh, seeds instead of doing a big curve line. And it was neat. And then added a, a halo. Uh, this is called bead line, this uh, tangle on the outside. And um, and then decided to do an aura with the white charcoal. Um, and as I mentioned, our, our soft premiere of this was for um, the winter snowflakes class that I taught. Uh, this is a, a based on and inspired by Tints on Tan um, kit that I purchased from CZT's um, Marty Deckel and Jenny uh, Peruzzi, and, um, and it's just a really, really neat, neat technique um, using uh, using color and tinting, uh, tinting the uh, the tile. It's just really, really neat, as you can see. Uh, if you're interested in this, I do. You know, I, you can purchase replays of the classes, so 
uh, if you want to contact me via my website, um, or, or at some point I'll get a link up there uh, to it if you are uh, interested in that. But lots of fun with this tangle. Um, like I said, it's just it's just absolutely amazing. So much fun. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, would love to have you click like. Feel free to um, share it, leave comments. And if you liked it enough to see more, would love to have you be a subscriber to the channel. Um, in the description section, I already mentioned, you'll find links to the step, out, step outs, link to my website, link to our fantastic private Facebook group. So if you happen to be on Facebook and want to join us there, we would love to have you. Um, and I think that's it. I probably forgot something, but it doesn't matter. It's all good. So again, thank you so much for watching. Have fun with this, and I wish you happy tangles.